And we're back with some more Blazing Dragons. Now, last time I was in this library, and I just had a look. Oh, why are you being slow? All right, we're well, back now. So last time I looked at this poster, which didn't really do a whole lot of good. All right, so let's head out. See if there's nothing more to do. Yeah. Now we wanted to go see the king, didn't we? What do we have in our inventory? Let's put this back. I wonder if we can have a look, quick look at the book. Oh. What the hell? An automatic scale scrubber. The scrubber spins with enough force to clean just about anything, including grubby tail scales. Great. Alrighty, um, can we... Another page. What's this? The Blowmaster Straight Cleaner. I've got to be careful. Too much rotary power will make this thing airborne, tossing the drop out. Alrighty. The Popcorn Party Popper. Toss the popper into a fire or near anything that's really hot, and a few minutes later, look out! A large enough popper could blow out the fire or worse, so be careful. Alrighty. Thing there with some unfinished inventions, it's still a new book. Alrighty then. So, is there anything else? Maybe before then? No, it's just more inventions up here. Just a sonnet I'm working on for Flame's birthday. Oh. Okay, well. Okay, what's the best that I'm going to need every single one of those things by the end of the game? Hmm. I wonder. Alrighty. What else do we have? Have that. Little clicker is a fine invention. The practical applications of which escape me for a moment. Alrighty then. Hmm. Jar. The jar my pet moth Pavlov once called home. And that was the rubber ice tail wire. And uh, let's say candelabra of some kind. So tube like hollow design could be used for other things. Interesting. Alrighty, let's go this way I guess. Go this way I guess. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, cutscene. Flicker, about tomorrow's tournament, my answer is no. Jeez, I was only an hour late. The tournament is open only to dragon knights. You're not a knight, you're not even a squire. Rah! Knights of the Square Table, your attention, please. Silence, please. Silence for the king. Pray silence. The king is speaking. Shh. Sorry. We must do something, Vicar. I refuse to marry one of these flame idiots. I'll try, Flame. I promise. Uh oh, visitors. Humans in Camelot? Oh no. Greetings, King Smallfire. Mwah. I sincerely regret to hear that you are finally retiring. When my entry in your tournament, the Black Dragon wins and is crowned king, he will turn your hide into ladies' handbags and tight shoes. What? Humans can't enter the tournament? I certain the Camelot law book will not allow such a thing. Chala? Hmm, you're undoubtedly right, sire. Okay, he's a bad guy. <laughs> wow. Wow, that's really, really blatantly a bad guy. Oh, wow. Yeah. Chapter 3, Section 9, Paragraph 18 clearly states that humans shall not be able to participate in any tournament unless they have a dragon to participate on their behalf. Chancellor, I believe you're mistaken. Doesn't Chapter 3, Section 9, Paragraph 18 refer to an obscure law governing public snout-picking? Hmm. 
Yes, well, at one time it did, but I changed it. Accidentally. This is a sensitive matter of state. King Allfire. I really don't think the princess should be involved. Quite right. Keep quiet, dearest. Quibble while you may. Tomorrow Camelhots will be mine! Away, Mervyn. Humans part. We should have toasted the little pink bugs the moment they arrived. Calm down. Our opponent can be defeated. Your mission is to bring back information about this mysterious black dragon. Yes, sire! Father Flicker needs a mission. Oh, okay. Flicker, I hereby command you to wash all the dirty dishes that piled up in the royal kitchen. Brilliant. Wahaha, yuck, yuck, waha, waha, muhaha, muhaha. Oh, wacko. Tell you, chaps, we have a black dragon to quash. There's an, that's an English word, you know. Alrighty. Um. Oh, great. I see Sir Gasford has been using room service again. Huh. All right. So that was interesting. So what have we got? Dishes? It's a waste of time. Those are in the foreground. Ha ha ha, of course. What's this then? Mop. Most likely use this in case of mess, or perhaps for something else. Yay, mop. Oh, there you go there. What else do we have? These things? Which go. It'd be silly just to spin it. Of course I would. Uh, water. So that I object to manual labour, I would prefer to use my brush to avoid it. Of course, so there's something we've got to do to wash the dishes then. Fun and adventure! What do we have? Okay, what? Tongs of some description? Yes? Ancient. They must be from. Oh god. Really? Did you really just do that game? Oh. Oh wow. Okay, what do we have here? Kettles. The royal tea kettles are always left on the stove in case he wants a cup of tea to soothe his nerves. Alrighty. That seems to be pretty much everything. Those are a waste of time because they're in the foreground. Huh. Don't suppose we can just walk out of here? Okay, so there's the king, um, you know what, he's probably just going to send me back. Let's go here. You are not slaves, castle until the dishes, rah rah rah. Alright then, going to have to do something there. Alright, let's head back in. Hmm, okay, you know what? What I reckon might do something is that that scrubbing in this one, the automatic scale scrubber, that can surely do something, right? Yes, guys, maybe? Steam from a heated kettle. Aha! Uh -huh. Then we have. Rubber hose catches steam to the receptor rack, which is this. Steam catches the cups and spins the receptor rack. Scrubber spins. Okay. Well then. Ideas. Ideas, but we only have 30 seconds to do them in. So... I'm going to cut off here, and next time I'm going to see if this works. I have a feeling it will, so yay for that. I'll see you then, peoples. Goodbye. <laughs>